Hey YouTube, Roger Zero back today with a new review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, SH Figure Arts Common Rider Double Cyclone Joker Extreme and what I'm going to be calling an overdue review. Uh, if you follow my vlogs at all, you know that I've had this figure art for a while and due to lack of time and effort, I'm not going to lie, I did slack off there on some reviews for a bit. Of course now I have a job so I have sort of an excuse, but uh, anyway, this is definitely an overdue review. Should have been done a while ago because I absolutely love Common Rider Double. And I've just kind of been sitting on this. So we're going to take a look at it today. Um, obviously the box is empty because I've had it for a while. And you know about me and my impatience. So I didn't feel like waiting. Um, we'll take a look at the box real quick. Nice shot of uh, Cyclone Joker Extreme there. Who will henceforth be known as just Double because saying Cyclone Joker Extreme over and over gets a little old. Uh, double logo down here at the bottom. Sorry for the glare. Uh, silver box, which is basically a normal color, but since Cyclone Joker Extreme has a big silver spot here in the middle, they just kind of went with that. I guess it was easier for them, but whatever. Uh, Cyclone, or Common Rider Double, and Cyclone Green coloring there, as I was trying to say. A few good shots of Double right there on the back with the Prism Bicker, some action poses, and look at me, I'm a badass pose there in the middle. Um, and yeah, go ahead and take a look at the accessories. Gonna leave this in the background there. Uh, not very many accessories with this one. Uh, it comes with a total of uh, four sets of hands. I'm not gonna take them out because there's really no need. Splayed open hands, one for each color of the each shot of double fists, and then the posing hands for um, when he says. Now come up your sins or your crimes, however you want it to be translated. Uh, Prison Bicker was here, the sword piece, there was a the shield piece, and then of course figure in the middle. Um, we'll go ahead and jump right in and take a look at the figure because I really, really love this one. Um, and there he is in all his badassness. I already have the holding things hands on him, which he also comes with to make the fourth set. And obviously here's the Prison Bicker. Uh, we'll go to, or we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll take a look starting at the detailing. Um, obviously he does have compound eyes. I don't know if you'll pick up very well on that, but they're there, I promise. Um, nice green coloring and black coloring on each side for its respective uh, person and or color. The silver middle part is actually clear for what you can touch. Uh, I don't know if you can pick it up very well on camera there, but you can kind of see where the clear part is and how it's actually silver inside there, which runs up and down the front and the back of the body all the way over the head onto his butt and back of his legs. You're looking at Double's butt now, aren't you? Um, nice gold trimming here on the Cyclone side for the shoulder pads and then the wrist, gauntlet, bracelet, whatever you want to call it, as well as the ankle bracelet or anklet, whatever. Um, nice purple trimming here for the Joker side as well as on the wrist and the shoulder pad there. Um, it has the, the head at least has more of a matte black finish while the arms and the legs have more of a gloss finish um, even actually underneath here underneath the arm it's got more of a matte black finish rather than a glossy which uh, you know if you have, if you already own the Joker figure art you know it's all matte black like that so I really like that I wish it had been that way on uh, Cyclone Joker uh, it's glossy but you know I love double so I'm not really going to complain um, the extreme memory is detailed very nicely uh, it does actually look very very good compared to some of the other uh, belts for some of the other riders uh, even is colored down here at the bottom like it was on Cyclone Joker and the other fig yards uh, I could be wrong for some reason it's not green over here for the Cyclone side like I think it should be uh, if I'm wrong on that then somebody please let me know because you know I'm never 100% right about this stuff so um, it even has the X right there in the middle for where it spins around it for the maximum drive or when he transforms does have the maximum drive slot over here. Oh, that's weird. Sorry, when I'm looking at the screen on my camera and turn it this way, this looks gold like uh, Luna. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Uh, standard figure arts articulation that we've all come to know and love. You know, shoulder goes all the way around, moves up and down like that. Elbows are nicely jointed there. Wrists, no problems here with movement. These, uh, are these loose? I don't remember. I think they were at one point, maybe? I could be wrong. No, I don't guess they are. They are on the ankles, but on the wrists, they're fixed in place. Unless mine are just 
have it move so long that they're not coming apart. But anyway, that's enough of that. The shoulder pads do lift up like always. Um, head movement, always good as usual. Stomach and chest movement. The legs are kind of the, the standard Cyclone Joker double form, or not double form, but double line of legs like all the others have. Um, you can see they pop off there to be wielded as a weapon. Oh, that was completely random. Double jointed knees and ankles movement as always. Um, really nice figure. Really, really love this thing. Look at the prism bicker. This one is very, very nicely detailed as well. Hold it there. Okay, yeah. I thought it was dropping again. Uh, it does have the four slots for the, um, you know, for the for the maximum drive for Cyclone Joker Extreme. They already have memories in them, but they're all black instead of being colored for their respective memories that they're supposed to be, which, you know, I guess it's not a big deal, but it would have been nice if they could have been colored as well because they get and even the little gold part down here on the piping for, um, I guess you could really call it piping, but whatever. The gold right here on these little pieces is painted, so it would have been cool if they could have painted at least the tops of them if they were left the inside black, whatever, but, you know, not a huge, huge deal. Uh, the sword does actually come out, if I can get it out of there. For epic sword wielding action. Sword's nicely detailed. Has the same or no, what is that? Kinda looks like an X. Kinda reminds me of the the Red Rangers Power Sword from Power Rangers. That's old school reference right there. Uh, nice detailing on the sword though. It fits very nicely with the figure, of course, because it's supposed to. Uh, but yeah, overall the prison bicker though is really, really nicely detailed and I really like this the the weapon and shield. I'm trying to get this in his hand, but it's not cooperating. There we go. For some epic pose action. It's probably not going to be as epic as I would like, but what can you do? Um, but yeah, as far as the figure itself, uh, I really, really love this figure. I was a huge fan of Double. Still am a huge fan of Double. Um, I, I really miss the show. Not that O's is bad, but Double was just awesome. And I'm really excited for the couple of movies that are coming up. Uh, but as far as the figure goes, which is what we're looking at here, highly recommended. Uh, you know, I recommend all of the double line, even though some of them do have their problems. Looking at you, Skull, with your loose joints up there. Um, it, it, this is definitely one that should be picked up. It's a great looking figure. Um, uh, you know, the detailing on it is fantastic as always. Decent accessory count. Prism Bicker is a very nice weapon. Makes for some epic poses. Um, you know, and just overall a, a really good figure and one that should definitely be in your collection if you're a double fan or if you're just a figure arts fan. I think it's worth a pick up for either of you. Um, so yeah, that'll about do it, I think. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, please let me know. Always welcome and always appreciated. Um, thanks for watching, of course. Please, please continue to spread the word, subscribe, give me views, etc., etc., like I always say. Um, going to be doing some more reviews hopefully over the weekend, so look out for some more stuff being put up this weekend, and uh, until next time, again, thanks for watching, take care.